Okay, we are going to take some time and practice what we just learned on the concept of main idea. So we're going to read from the same book that we've been reading from, The Amazing Animal Journeys, and our focus is going to be on the walrus. So as you can see, our first page is a graphic feature, and so I'm just going to read um, these captions to you. So right here, um, on the upper left hand side we see that the lifespan is up to 40 years their size is up to 12 feet long and their weight is up to 3,400 pounds their skin appears brown or gray in the water but pink or dark brown when not in the water their air pouch can be inflated to keep their head above water while sleeping their whiskers on its snout they're used to detect food on the bottom of the ocean their tusk weigh over 10 pounds and are up to three feet long their lips and tongue are used to suck meat out of shells and their mouth they mostly eat clams about four thousand and one day blubber can be two to four and a half inches thick. It insulates the body from cold air and water. And then finally, their flippers, rear, rear flippers used to swim and move on land. As we read the story, we're also gonna see word wise. So if there's a word that might be unfamiliar to you, such as blubber, it's fat surrounding sea animals that keeps them warm in cold water. So let's get started. Remember, you're looking for the main idea as we go through the pages. You should be finding three of them. And then we're going to use all three of those main ideas to create one central main idea for the whole story. Walruses in the Pacific Ocean migrate with the movement of the ice. The ice shrinks in the summer and gets large, larger in the winter. Walruses travel by swimming around ice flows. Ice flows, a sheet of floating sea ice. When at sea or on ice flows, walruses stay in small groups. They form large groups when resting on land. There can be tens of thousands of walruses packed tightly together. Pacific walruses live in the Bering and Chukchi Seas and on Wrangell Island. As the ice expands in winter, they move south from the Bering Sea. As the ice shrinks in the summer, females and their young move north with the ice into the Chukchi Sea. Males often don't travel as far north. Some stay on land south of the Chukchi Sea. Look at this graphic feature that's provided for you. How does this graphic help you to understand what is written in the text? Just take a moment and think about that. You'll also notice that there's a weird but true. Walrus's ears are small bowls that are hard to see with all their wrinkles. They're small holes. That's bowls, holes. Okay, baby walruses are born on ice flows during the migration north. They are called calves. At birth, calves are four and a half feet long and weigh up to 150 pounds. That's as much as two large adult dogs. Weird but true, walruses can break through eight inches of ice by banging it with their head. Walruses are not picky. Though they mostly eat clams, they also eat more than 60 other species of sea life. Their food includes coral, worms, shellfish, sea cucumbers, and sometimes seals. 
We have clams, sea cucumbers, lobsters, the word wise species, a group of animals similar in kind. Walruses fish in waters less than 300 feet deep. They find most of their food on the bottom of the ocean. They haul out and rest from feeding and swimming by pulling themselves onto ice flows. Mighty tusk. A walrus uses its tusk to move on land, make ice holes, and haul out of the water. Tusks are also used as protection against predators such as polar bears. So that's the end of our read aloud. So take this time and look at the, the three um, small main ideas that are hidden in this whole story of walruses and how can you make that into one main idea for the entire passage.